Yo brother, it's time for us to start talking the real man. We've been sugarcoating too much, we've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Well, hey guys, I'm here uh, on my first ride on the Kingsong S16 Pro. And first, a huge shout out to Jason E Wheels for uh, providing me this first look at the wheel. From what he says, uh, not many of these exist in the world right now. I don't. I haven't seen anyone. In, the only uh, Kingsong wheels I've seen in Southern California. <laughs> This year is every once in a while an S22. Of course, I own an S22, but yeah, no one's haven't seen any uh, S16s, S19s. Not that they're, not to say that they don't exist, but uh, I just haven't seen them. So, uh, very first ride. I'm about uh, I don't know, let's see, three and a half miles into the ride, and if I happen to be showing the stats on the screen those are gps speeds i can't get euc world won't connect to the wheel very unusual particularly a king song wheel it's like they i don't know must have really made a big change to the protocol i don't know but uh i'll reach out to siva see what he says uh see if i can help him get this working so uh well, wow. very first impressions of the wheel is that the suspension is semi-plush. Uh, I played around with the rebound adjustment, so you can definitely make it feel really stiff if you crank up the rebound full. I have it just a couple notches below minimum rebound, so it's a, so it's a, it's a little bouncy. It feels nice. But it's it's definitely a, it's a firmer ride, uh, closer to if I were to say uh, closer to the V14 and the Commander Mini. Those all have kind of stiff suspensions. Uh, this is not a veteran suspension <laughs> for sure, but it feels nice. It feels nice. And the pads, I have the. I have the stock pads on, which are working good for braking and for acceleration if I need them a little bit. And I did put the, the bottom, uh, I guess we might call the jump pads on, and they work with my boots. I'm not sure how they look in terms of fit, fitting or how, if I put them on correctly, I don't know. But uh, yeah, the wheel, the, and the wheel is uh, super nimble. Just like, just like I, you know, I kind of thought it would be. Just uh, really nice to make, uh, you know, tight turns, very smooth. It's, it's really pretty much like I, I thought it would be. I can even jump just a little bit with this wheel. Ah, that wasn't a very good... Uh, I know. I think uh, I think what would really would help me to jump would be to put some pads in the back, so my heels grab because I can pull up on my toes. But what really would help if my heels didn't move up too. So I might play around with that because I, I think this might be a fun wheel for me to play around with uh, little jumping and stuff. You know, jumping up curbs and, and things like that uh, because it it's a lightweight wheel. So you got some water up here. It's, we had some rain the last uh, last day or so. This is New Year's Eve, by the way. It's been a gloomy 
really gloomy day today and yesterday yesterday we had the rain and it's a little bit of rain today uh, New Year's Day we're doing our second annual Mount Baldy ride probably I'm not sure at least half a dozen people are going to be coming last year we had <clears throat> we had uh, a little bit of every, everything fog rain snow sleet uh, or hail I guess <laughs> a little bit of everything at the end of the day it was fun but there were elements during the ride that maybe uh, maybe it wasn't so much fun but tomorrow it's probably gonna be cold but it looks like uh, won't be any uh, precipitation so that'll be that'll be nice so a okay, good way to bring in the new year take a go for a mountain ride I was half thinking about taking this but I don't know what the range is going to be so what I'm doing right now is I'm riding uh, I'm taking a little, I'm on a little side trail but uh, I'm taking my river part of the river loop that I do for my formal range tests and of course this has about a 1500 watt hour battery so um, I'm taking an abbreviated route and we'll see what see what I what I get at uh, and I'm, I'm gonna be riding at uh, when I feel like you know between 23 25 miles per hour which I recently did uh, been doing with uh, some of my other wheels like the 2400 watt hour wheels so uh, let's see that my my uh, master and commander mini I could do about 57 miles at that those kind of speeds so we'll see what uh, today is going to be maybe a 25 mile ride and uh, so I'll get a sense of what kind of range I can get unfortunately I don't have a fast charger because they went with this uh, you know non-standard connector for the charger so uh, I can't use any of my uh, fast chargers. Roger's, uh, Roger's going to hook me up with a cable adapter, but I don't know if he'll have it with him. I don't know if he'll have it tomorrow. If I had that, I might. And at the range, I can do the range. I might take this to uh, Mount Baldy. Otherwise, I'll be riding the Lynx. The Lynx, my all-time favorite wheel right now <laughs> for this week. I don't know. I think the Lynx changing the subject a little bit. Uh, I think the Lynx is setting itself up to be the wheel, the the wheel of 2024, unless something else comes out this this year. I don't know. Veteran doesn't release a lot of wheels. I'm not sure if they have another one coming this year. They probably do at some point, but. Uh, you know, in the, in the, I don't know. Uh, Bogota has a good lineup right now, but ah, the Lynx is, uh, Lynx is the wheel to beat right now. And I don't know of any wheels right now in the pipeline from Bogota that could challenge the Lynx. They might have a faster wheel and so forth, but the Lynx just hits all the chuck boxes just right. All the chuck boxes. Except for the pedals. I think the pedals pedals are okay, but uh, they could be a lot better. Uh, yeah, so anyway, I, I really like the Lynx. <laughs> uh, except for, unless I need a really long distance wheel, in which case I take my EX30, uh, Commander Pro, maybe the the veteran max if I don't have my suspension wheels for some reason or my uh, master pro those are my long range wheels otherwise man I'm riding the I'm riding the links for everything of course now I've got this wheel so I'm gonna be playing around this for a while so the links will won't get a lot of love for a while and then I'm expecting the v14 my replacement v14 from an emotion I might be getting that uh, next week or I, it's been shipped so uh, 
either next week or the week after I expect to get that so I'll be able to uh, start testing that again and it'd be cool if I have both these at the same time since they're both very similar wheels in terms of specs right so I will take this wheel with me tomorrow on the my body ride at least at the beginning I'll let Roger and Don uh, hop on it play around a little bit uh, tap the top speed which is supposed to be 37 miles per hour on this wheel we'll see all right well I will uh, get back to you show you a couple more uh, shots during this little ride and uh, let you know uh, how the battery performed at the conclusion of this This is a fun wheel. Uh, you know, there's no, there's no one wheel that does it all. And if you want to have a, just a, like, a little wheel that's just fun, uh, I assume it's going to be powerful <laughs> to do anything I would want to do, like hill climbing and stuff like that. Uh, with suspension, super nimble. And... Um, you know, as and as prices go nowadays for wheels, I think this is about two thousand uh, dollars. Not bad, and you know, and it's uh, it appears to be a quality wheel. 
kind of what you would expect from King Song. So, yeah, maybe this is a, yeah, like who's this wheel for, right? Well, it could be for a person like me or you, an experienced person. Could be for you too, just because, again, it's a fun wheel. It's a little wheel. It's going to be great for just getting around. Uh, all you guys that have been complaining about heavy wheels. <laughs> This is certainly uh, one of the smaller ones, and then with suspension, right? With a probably a decent sized battery. I'm going to guess at speeds I'm riding today, kind of that it's a 30 mile wheel, 35 mile wheel maybe. We'll see, but that's not bad. That can be a lot of fun. So it might be a good beginner wheel too, right? A wheel that's pretty powerful look guys if you had if we had this wheel five years ago we'd be drooling over it <laughs> every one of you would be drooling over this wheel my god 3,000 watt motor pretty big battery I mean back then 1600 watt hour wheel was kind of like the standard big battery wheel right so uh, <laughs> and with suspension you know, we all become a little dread, jaded, I think, sometimes with time, as time goes on. It's, it's uh, human nature, though. Okay, let's take this thing down into the river. That's a piece of cake. It's not a very steep hill. No struggling, of course. That's fun. See? It's the kind of thing you can just have fun with wheels like this. Just uh, <laughs> go wherever you want. So now I'm on the bottom of one of the LA river beds. I'm gonna go over there to a, kind of a flood control gate. Maybe I'll take the picture for this ride there. Surprised there isn't more water down here. I'm really enjoying this wheel. It's just, it's a, I guess the best way to describe it is a fun, just a fun wheel to just go around and play around on. You know, not, it's not gonna be a wheel to take on long group rides, that, that kind of stuff, but just to go out and have fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, this is a, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. All right, here is this gate. You can see these giant gates with these chains up there. And uh, usually I see this thing is closed. So I don't know why they have it open right now. Make myself get dizzy. <laughs> yeah, it's fun to just get out in a wheel and tootle around and have just have fun. Uh, I need to do I need to do this kind of riding more often. I tend to go on long rides and tend not to do as much just little things like this exploring and yeah well I've lost the sun so 
so I'm not sure how well you can see me but I'm about approaching 18 miles into the ride GPS and at rest I'm about I was at 59 percent battery according to the display again doing a lot of 23 to 25 miles per hour riding GPS speeds uh, yeah so not going to be great mileage of <laughs> I think when I get back I think it should be about a 25 mile ride maybe thereabouts we'll see but uh, look I wasn't expecting a long range wheel right <laughs> This is just kind of a wheel to go out and have fun for uh, 20 to 30 miles, depending on how you ride. Looking forward to taking on some trails. I think I can take this up Mount Wilson. Need to, as long as I have a wheel with a thousand watt hour battery thereabouts, I can, uh, I can climb Mount Wilson. Well, I've got the, one of the color displays on anyway, so uh, put the camera in the back at least you can see how the lights look and by the way the lights looking in front of me are they're pretty good it's uh, usable yes very usable uh, I have no idea whether it's blinding people coming on to me but frankly uh, that's not one of my biggest concerns in a wheel light <laughs> I'd rather be able to see than whether I'm blinding uh, oncoming cars, which are not in my lane to begin with. So, uh, and I'm not, it's not like I'm on a freeway. My uh, nine foot uh, camera behind me, a selfie stick, had me paranoid about the camera was going to hit the pole.
Okay guys, I'm wrapping up the ride. About 24 miles and under no load, about 35% battery. So, uh, yeah, not a long range wheel for sure. <laughs> and I wasn't pushing it quite as hard coming back, partly because it was dark. Uh, but So I was probably in the lower 20s versus uh, mid 20s. Uh, and by the way, tire pressure is about 28 psi. That's how I like to ride. And my riding weight today was about 203 pounds as a reference. So um, I would have hoped I could get maybe a little more than what I got. But uh, again, for what it is, I don't think I'll be taking it up to Mount Baldy though tomorrow. Because that's a 25 mile ride climbing uh, about 3,500 feet. And uh, I'd rather I'd rather be riding a bit faster than I could do it on this wheel and make it to the top. <laughs> but uh, stick around for more uh, S16 videos. Be climbing Mount Wilson. Uh, probably do Fullerton Loop. Let Roger uh, challenge the wheel, <laughs> and uh, I'll go from there. All right, guys. Hope you uh, enjoyed this first ride with me. And uh, until next time, safe riding. <laughs>